Foxy back there is so annoying. And spaghetti. Why? So I do have to go to the price counter. Really? Yeah, there is one in here. Let's see how close he is now. Oh, he close. He out the door. He's out the door. Huh. I don't like it. Hands aren't too... Ah, I hate them. I'm gonna do it. FNAF 2. I I'm usually pretty good at FNAF 2. Uh, hello! Hello, hello! Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here Wait, to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fatbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without its costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning. It's kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Okay, I don't know why I'm being so silent. Hi. Hey, baby. How you doing? Mm. I don't know why I always get so stressed in the easiest levels. Whew! So far, I haven't gotten jump scared today, except for when I did it on purpose because I knew I was gonna die anyways. <laughs> oh, chippy. Mmm, gambindo. Okay. Mmm, tortilla. Tortilla style tortilla chips. <laughs> the boat and spicy. Ah. Mm. 850 calories. Mm. That'll fill up my daily diet. Woohoo! And Mr. Oh. Gosh, I hate night. Night one of Nerf one, that's awful.
just leave. I would very much appreciate if you left. Oh no, Foxy. Come on. It's exam. Yes! First night. Oh. Oh, I don't know how I'm terrible at this. But I beat it. Woohoo! That is what I'm talking about. What kind of crap do I get now? Yeah! Have you seen me booty around here? Ah oh, man, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Did you know that? <laughs> Getting used to this game finally. <sighs> oh, where'd Uncle Jim go? He gone. I just love pressing buttons in VR. That's like my favorite thing, honestly. I just don't understand. <laughs> I'll just take my complimentary snack before I go in. <laughs> oh, the, okay, I, I do have to go into night three. I mean, FNAF three to uh, first handle spring trap. But I also need to find the coins. So. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I oh, promise awful. it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So we are looking and you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then pass you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be okay, starring I got as... Good done. I got my, my little coin. See if I get any yum yum in the prize counter. What do I get? Oh, I get a cup. Yes. <laughs> it is so nice. Not being dirty for once. It is so nice not being dirty and rummaging through trash anymore. I get to have myself a nice warm bath. <laughs> I'm stupid. Gosh, I hate you, Uncle. Uncle Jim. Wait, are you hungry? He's not hungry. You sure you're not hungry? You got... Third eye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I don't see why you don't want that. I do not want to do Freddy. Welcome back oh to Parts God. and Service. It looks like one of our guests. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another for good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't any. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. 
Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract carefully. Place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's end. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Well done. I did it. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. A slow and even pace is recommended. I'm gonna die. A, sl a slow and even pace is recommended. Okay. Don't know why it was not grabbing. I was doing so good. I knew I was gonna die there. Why wasn't it doing it? I, I was. Okay, my only problem is dropping the crap because for some reason it really likes dropping it. Okay, this should be good. Just don't wanna. Don't wanna die. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access this. Carefully place the music box on the work table. Great job. To reset the safety latch, now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A slow and even pace is recommended. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. I did it. Your pay will be docked accordingly. And with the glitch, I did it. Thank you, Freddy. Oh, that was... That was almost very bad. <laughs> Freddy Fudge Bar. We got the Freddy Fudge Bar. Mm. Mm, usually, fudge and chocolate is disallowed in uh, where I come from, but uh, since I am seemingly in a different dimension where I'm most likely gonna die if I make a disappointment mess- <coughs> Ooh! Yeah. Let's do- I can't see how much time I have left. I can do myself a foxy real quick and I'll be good. I'll be fine with that. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commit. Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it You're into Foxy's me. upper arm receptacle. You're telling me I have to do this.
Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Ah, oh, this is terrifying. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. I did it. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. Uh, I'm a professional. See, Foxy. I've never done so. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never been more sweaty in my life. Pirate Blender Bar. I, I I don't get the joke in the name, but uh No! Okay. I did it. I ate it. I don't know where my uncles went. Okay, this is gonna be difficult and annoying. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization mod. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you remove them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. I mean, this thing is... this is... Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. I don't See know you next I time. I was so stressed... on that. <sighs> Gosh dang it. I can't even see my... Ooh. Oh, I didn't know it was my birthday. Thanks, Uncle Jim. I didn't know you were nice. Usually you just creepily stare at me in the back corner. But thank you. Mm. Surprised I took one bite, though. Oh, jeez, you scared the crap out of me. Hey, can I touch you? Can't touch you. Can't touch you. Can't touch you. Okay. You're creepy. You're still there. Okay. Hi. I'm glad you're a friend. Didn't know. Okay, he's always a friend, I think. Oh, wait, I got another tape. Darn it. Okay, that concludes our video today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back on another day. And I'll try to get a face cam. Remember that.